everyone and welcome to another newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in this video we're going to tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For Joan of Arc this week, we actually don't have anything really new to report except that we are at the end of the file preparation for 1.5 and will soon be submitting the files to the factory. We are working on sharing a couple of the Teutonic Knight scenarios next week though, so be on the lookout for that. For Solomon Kane this week, the first NPC arrived at the production manager's home instead of the office because of the newly reinstated lockdowns in Paris. Unfortunately, they weren't able to safely get that copy to the office for a live unboxing. Leo's MPC copy, however, is set to be delivered on November 23rd, according to the tracking system, though. And as soon as his copy arrives, he will be doing a live unboxing for you all. Now, our production manager did confirm that the MPC was missing two of the six Shadows miniatures a factory oversight. The factory is currently adding those missing shadows into the boxes and that process should be finished by mid-December. In the meantime, here are some pictures of the NPC that has arrived for your viewing pleasure. Enjoy. <laughs> For Reichbusters this week, the factory has been sent all of the files for the errata pack and will be working on preparing the samples. Once the samples are printed, we will inspect them to ensure all the elements are correct. After we approve the samples, production will begin. During this time, however, we are requesting that all backers who have changed addresses since the initial delivery of Reichbusters to please contact our customer support team at support at mythicgames.net and provide us with your updated address information so that we can do our best to make sure everyone gets their physical errata pack as quickly as possible. For Super Fantasy Brawl this week, we have some more information concerning the tournament that will begin on Saturday, November 28th. First of all, a maximum of 32 participants will be able to register for it on our website beginning tomorrow, Thursday, November 19th, and registration is free. You may ask why we're limiting the field to just 32 participants participants and the simple answer is that this is the first tournament I've run and I'd like to not bite off more that I can chew with the first go. There will be more tournaments in the future and their fields will not be as limited. Additionally, each participant will be guaranteed three matches in each round of which they are a part with the possible exception of the championship round. Matches will begin on each scheduled day at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 4 p.m. GMT. Each match will have a maximum duration of one hour with approximately 15 minute intervals 
before the second and third match to make sure matches are set up properly. Also, beginning with this tournament, we will begin keeping track of official rankings using Turn E. That's how it, it's spelled right there. If you have any questions on how those rankings will be maintained, feel free to email support at torn.ee with any inquiries. Lastly, I'm having a conversation with some prominent content creators later this afternoon to discuss the possibilities and limitations of live streaming the tournament on our Twitch and YouTube channels. The idea is that those who aren't able to play will be able to watch and take part in those live stream events. But hopefully we'll hear more on that later. Just a short update on Steam Watchers this week. The French rulebook has been finalized and we are now working on the English one. As soon as they are both finished, we will be sharing them with you. So be on the lookout for those in the near future. Moving on to Hell, the last saga. Due to Paris being back on lockdown, playtesting is still progressing on Tabletop Simulator. After having reached a level of balance in the scenarios with which we're comfortable, we're now beginning to move into testing the game with the literary authors to see how the narrative rendering is coming along and to evaluate the progressive inclusion of the audio tracks within the saga book's paragraphs. This is important because when a track of the music is to be launched will be indicated by a dedicated icon followed by the track number in the paragraph header. So, we will take this opportunity to share with you an excerpt of Isa, a new file in the soundtrack composed by our sound designer, Lies. This atmospherically mysterious passage will intervene in the episodes of exploration during some rather macabre discoveries. Close your eyes and listen. Meanwhile, our lone artist on duty at the office took the opportunity to paint the first samples of 3D tokens to see how they're coming out. The texture of the wooden tokens is truly admirable. Now, next week, we won't have an update because it promises to be an extremely busy week in terms of organization for us at the office. But we'll be back with more news and updates in the first update of December. And finally, for Darkest Dungeon, the board game this week, the Pledge Manager will open in January. If you would like to receive an email from us when the Pledge Manager launches, then you can subscribe with the link in the description below. Also, if you're using your Apple ID as your Kickstarter email, you need to contact Kickstarter to unlock Myth Mythic Games so that we are able to pull your address and other details from your account and import them into Pledge Manager. Otherwise, we won't be able to insert you into the Pledge Manager system. 
Additionally, if your bank card is denied by Kickstarter, you need to contact your bank. Usually you just need to contact your bank and ask them to validate Kickstarter, as sometimes it is classified as a spam transaction. It is an easy thing to fix, so make sure you contact your banks in that circumstance. Now, just a couple final tidbits. First off, our newscast videos will be moving to Tuesdays beginning next week. Leo's live Q&As will be staying on Wednesday, though. Uh, we also wanted to let you know that we will be running some Black Friday deals in our eShop during the weekend of November 27th through the 30th. So be sure to stop by and check those out. Now remember that later on today, Leo will be live at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or just to spend some time gabbing. But that's it for this week. Stay home, stay safe, and play some games while you're at it. We'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <music>